Hello everyone, here is Springboard, and I'm Abby. Glad to see you again. Although you see live streaming everywhere, such as sports events, esports competition, business presentation, wedding, character interview, education, church, and training, the sound of starting to live stream on your own can be daunting. That's why we create this guide to live streaming for total beginners. In this video, we are going to break down all the hardware and software that goes into our live stream setup. Now, without further ado, here's a quick rundown of all the major gear we are currently rocking at the studio. Hardware PC or laptop. You'll need a machine to run your streaming software. A PC or laptop is okay, but not ethical. Generally, a laptop is better suited for long hours of performance and lots of multitasking. Cameras The easiest approach for beginners is to use a webcam, either built into your laptop or attached to your computer by USB. A camera with HDMI being better options. It's suitable for live streaming by sending a clean signal over HDMI. Audio The lesson here is not to skim on audio. A base wire 3 45mm level mic can greatly improve your audio quality. A dedicated sound card for your PC is one of the ways to get quality sound. Switcher Hardware switchers are ideal when you have a lot of camera angles. This device allows you to press a button and easily switch between cameras. One example of an entry-level live video switcher is the Freeword Live Pro L1 V1 switcher, which costs $299. L1 accepts four HDMI inputs and has HDMI out for preview of program views and a headphone jack. The USB 3.0 live streaming, spot blocking transition effects and 9 picture in picture modes on Tifa. Easy of use is outstanding. Software The main piece of software we have been using is OBS. It's simple and free to use. Takes a little while to get the hang of, but definitely works well. Setting up your live stream, the actual live stream setup is quite simple once you have all the equipment. First of all, let's set up the camera positions. Here we set up two camera positions. One is right in front of me and one is to show that the product for better viewing details. Then connect the camera to the switcher with a HDMI cable. Then connect switch to the computer with a USB cable. Open OBS. Add a video capture device. Here we select Freeword's USB 3.0 so we can get the picture. Now let's set down the audio. First, Connect the microphone to the sound card. In OBS, add audio and select your audio source. Then we have complete the audio settings. Now that we have captured both the video and audio, here we take YouTube as an example and look how to make a live stream on YouTube. Click Create in the upper right corner. Click Go Live. Copy stream key and stream URL to OBS. Then click Confirm, click stream in OBS finally. Now we can see that it's already on live. Honestly, it works well for us for months. I hope it's helpful for you. This is Freeword and I'm Abby. 
Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.